Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well and hope everyone is enjoying their weekend. Uh, so I just want to say a big thank you to uh, Retiring Dividends. Uh, he did something nice for uh, some of the smaller YouTubers out there, including myself. Uh, he gave us like, you know, some love. Um, and I really appreciate it because like, you know, just as a YouTuber in general, it's kind of tough to kind of get things going. Um, so I'm really appreciative of that uh, because he didn't have to. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, so let's get into like the defined side of things today. So f I'm glad they updated the website. So now we can see like kind of like a, a nice snapshot of like the yield max and defined funds um, to see if there's any discounts. Um, on the defined side, unfortunately, uh, you don't get as many discounts. Um, and then also like especially for something like Spy T, uh, you know, I think people are still. Um, overpaying just a little bit but you know just be careful out there guys um it, you know even though it's like only a few cents uh it adds up over time depending on how much you you buy so let's go into the limited preview of the dashboard uh so i think for this for this week uh let's take a look at triple qy uh so i'm just going to show you kind of like the change in the market value um over time and then just to see you know also like the composition of the assets so i think this might be a nice visual in the future uh, i guess when i get enough subscribers to kind of make it worth it uh, so as you can see people are you know feeling a little bit more comfortable with risk i guess like the the earnings from the uh, bigger tech names are helping out uh, so you, you can see like the nice progression um, over time and then let's just take a look at kind of like things on a bigger scale uh, just like the whole um, group is doing better uh, overall. And then let's take a look at, uh, let's just take a look at the CBD, kind of like the discounts over time. So unfortunately with, with something like Triple QI, uh, you don't, you know, just like visually looking at, like uh, looking at the bottom graph, uh, like the premium discounts, you don't really get that much chances to buy things at a discount. So when whatever you see them, uh, try to take advantage. Um, but you know, it, things are what they are. There's nothing we can do about that. So hopefully this wasn't like too bad of like a, of a pullback. Uh, you know, I'm mentally prepare myself. Like this could be like a small fake out. Uh, in case there's like some bad news or something unexpected so for example if there's like you know more bank failures uh that could uh, hamper liquidity and you know that could turn a pullback into like a correction or or more um so you know just we should uh, kind of keep an eye out on things so let's just go back to good old excel over here So one second. So let's bring this back into focus. All right, so I think this is should be good. Okay, so for IDMI, uh, so you know, this is a nice little um, bump up in terms of like the, the price, uh, $16.05 to $16.25. Uh, you'll notice like the ones in yellow, uh, sometimes like the defines website they don't update um things fully uh so like i just noticed like i don't and why they were, were kind of late i'm not sure why but you know it is what it is uh so so i did but my best to kind of like give you like the accurate prices uh so it, it they look okay so so like you know cash uh actually started off at like a negative 18 cents so that's not good but eventually they shorted it back up to 52 cents um and then the option premium like as you can see uh it's not like the greatest but like you know pulling like a credit of 12 cents um and then like to start the new week um pulling in like nine cents so volatility unfortunately is hanging back down a little bit uh so consequently like the the premiums will be you know uh you know they're decreasing so treasuries went from 1635 down to 1583 for this guy so let's take a look at Chepi. so 1651 uh up to 1677 so 
that's good. So hopefully they can keep that up. Uh, cash went from nine cents to fifty seven cents, and then the, the option premium throughout the week uh, was kind of kind of skimpy. Uh, so it started off at like nine cent credit, and then now it's down to like six cents credit. Uh, treasuries went from sixteen fifty uh, down to sixteen twenty six, and then as we can see again uh, from good old triple QY, uh, also. You know, got a little bit of a boost um, from the tech earnings for so fifteen dollars six cents, up to fifteen dollars and forty four cents. Uh, and then the cash, like I'm glad it went from like a negative uh, thirty nine cents back up to like forty five cents. So that's good. Uh, options, again, the premium kind of went all over the place. Uh, so it started off at like eleven cents, it went up as high as uh, seventeen cents, then went as low as like three cents, and then you know starting off the new week at nine cents so hopefully they can grab as much as they can uh, so then the treasuries went from 1556 down to 1507 and then treasuries kind of stayed flat and went from like 1755 down to 1752 uh, the cash went from 27 cents down to 18 cents and then the options went from a positive uh, debit of 22 cents up to 27 cents and then treasuries kind of well, you know, stayed flat pretty much from 1706 to 1707. And then spy T, I'm really glad to see that it actually held up uh, fairly well. Um, it's now kind of getting back on the right track. So it went from 19 dollars 11 cents up to 19.59. Uh, so cash went from 16 cents uh, down a little bit to 13 cents. And then the you know the covered call part, uh, the options went from 18.94. Up to 1946 and i'm guessing a big chunk of that is just like the natural um, appreciation of like the underlying um, etf shares so i'm glad to see you know it's holding up uh, fairly well uh, so if you like this type of content uh, please consider giving us a like uh, if you can subscribe as well uh, that'd be greatly appreciated this way i think i would like to do like the more full uh, dashboard uh, soon um, hopefully sooner than later so thank you for watching. I hope you have a good rest of the weekend. Um, and then, um, you know, let's prepare for battle on uh, Monday morning. So thank you and have a good day.